Crackberry.com. Hello, everybody. I'm Kevin. It's Crackberry Live once again. I've got Adam Zeiss with me. Hello, hello. And today we have a special guest, Bruce, Bruce Handel, Handel from Tazzlet. Tazzlet. It slices, it dices. It's new, <laughs> it's, new it's improved, it's old fashioned. It's my kind of guy. Wow. Where can I buy Tazzlet? I'm sold. Okay. <laughs> You can buy it wow. at Tazlet.com. That's amazing. Available Great, at PC Bruce. Mall. Thanks for coming on the show. Great supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But all seriousness. Yeah, so tell us about Tazlet. Okay. So Tazzle first launched, I think Adam uh, wrote a nice review <clears throat> back when Blackberry was the king of the day. And still is. It oh, still is. About. Exactly. And so, um, yeah, tell us about Tazzle. Tazzle was first brought out because we thought Tazzle would be a great mobility and utility solution that would add a lot of flexibility to people who had devices who wanted to shoot data to a PC or print things. And it still has that function, but now I'm targeting it primarily at emerging markets where cloud printing is not going to be much of an option because there's no cloud. And I'm here at uh, BB Live to decide whether or not to go for the BB10 platform or not. Okay, so you haven't decided yet? I'm about 99%. I was just, I'll make the decision for you. It'll just build for BlackBerry 10. I think so. Actually, it's going to be a lot more elegant solution for BlackBerry 10 because of that, uh, what do they call it, invocation platform. Mm -hmm. You just sure. hit share, Tazlet, because it becomes a verb. And uh, Tazlet means to send it to a PC to print. So print. What's, give, give me the like bullet point list of like <laughs> features for people who aren't familiar with the product and service. It's really more like a service. Well, yeah, it's like a service. Okay, so if you want to print someplace from your mobile device and you don't have a printer, you can borrow literally any PC that has a relationship with a printer. This goes in the USB port, you fire up the software, and from your device you can send your email content, your photos, or files, and you can actually freeze time because when it lands on the computer, you can edit to your heart's content, print as many copies as you want, and then when you're done, um, you leave nothing behind on the PC. Clean, see that's, that's I'm sold. That's good. I like it. Uh, what's your cost and where can people buy it and find more? Find out more about okay. Tazlet. Um, it's available at tazlet.com. That's the easy place to find okay. it. And it's $59.95. Um, and, uh, and you get the hardware in that? You get the hardware here. You can get the software on the App Store, which is now called Blackberry <laughs> App World. Blackberry, you know, I feel like Blackberry, well, no, Blackberry, Blackberry World. Blackberry World. We have a, a name change. Yeah. And uh, the PC component, you can download and I carry it around on this uh, flash drive, but you can download it from the Perfect. website. And, and how long have you been doing Tazzle? Last, that's my last question. Oh, I've been doing it a long time, on, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, Tazzle first launched in, well, quite a while ago. Quite a while ago. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, I'm saying it's, it's a service that's been around for a long time. It's right? it's, it, there's a demand for it. So and we wrote uh, about it years ago for yeah. the first yeah, time. Yeah, so. I think the first time you wrote about it was probably 2009. But, there you uh, go. but the real place where it has a pain point, where it serves a pain point, are the emerging markets. Um, any place where you've got smartphone service, but you don't necessarily have broadband internet. Right. Mm -hmm. So places like Indonesia, Nigeria, um, no offense if they have broadband in the capital, but any sort of uh, rural areas. Sure. You know, even in North America, if you're outside of the, of the main cities, or if you're actually working on a construction project or something like that, there is no internet, and you mm -hmm. may get something into your device, and you want to print it so you, as long as the PC is connected to a printer and there's electricity, then your connection is direct and uh, makes sense. You can cool. print. Bruce, thanks so much for joining us today on Crackberry Live. Thank, Thank you. you. Tazlet.com, check it out. That's it for this one. See you soon.